it's James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. We're backstage in Leeds today. You meet six playing Sinners Never Sleep live in full this evening. Josh joins me now. How are you, man? In full, in HD. <laughs> in full, in HD, in 4K. In it's 4K, all coming to yeah. you. No, it's an exciting one, this, isn't it? It's nice to kind of kick off the summer, I suppose, in this way. The summer of live events are back, and here we are yeah. with kind of a big moment for you guys. Yeah, it's a massive moment for us. I think um, it's one of those things, isn't it, where, like, for us, it's completely unexpected that we're kind of still in a position where we can play something like Sinners in full and it have this sort of pull and this excitement around it. But, um, yeah, it was one very much with um, the fan base kind of in our, in our minds in terms of, like, how can we celebrate it? in a new way because we've done obviously the Take for Colors tour we did the hold me down sort of in story small intimate stuff and then we were like let's do something jokes and outside so here we are something big it's, it's a fun. nice a big moment how's it been kind of getting back into it because obviously you know there's always been a few songs from that that are going to be on the set list forever yeah. but there's also songs you haven't played in a very very long time you're gonna to have to go back and see there how was that process the, relearning things yeah there's a, there's some songs on there that have never been played before live so they're gonna be <laughs> <laughs> An they're, they're gonna be great in nice. particular. Nice. Um, but no, it's 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 um it's been fun. I mean the last few days have been really um, stressful putting it all together. Um, but for the most part it's been really enjoyable because again it's that sort of thing of like, you know, for some of these songs they've they kind of been brought out of retirement and some of them, you know, will go straight back into retirement. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it, the main thing I said was just like celebrating the record in, in a way that we felt was uh, not over the top, but doing doing it justice and stuff. And yeah, I think for us to be putting our own headline shows outdoors is always mental. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah we're, we're really, really, really proud to be here. And we've got a great bill of, of amazing bands, um, which we kind of put together. And again, that was kind of like a celebration of like bands that people should be paying attention to moving forward yeah absolutely you know? no it's a really really great day today actually really really lovely and I love, and it's it's nice you know to be able to kind of give a nod to pass like you say you know it's, it's good to do a little one-off event like that i know you guys are always looking forward but it's good to kind of live in those eras for a little minute what are your kind of memories going back and looking at that time because it was such a it was such an upward rise for you guys on that sense of sleepy era it was yeah, crazy it was it, it, it honestly felt like now looking back on it it felt like a period in the band's career where we could do no wrong like every time we did something it just went up another level and just kind of surpassed what had been done previously or uh, you know um any sort of expectations we had going into sinners were completely blown out of the water um but yeah i think it's you know i was was talking about this the other day it's like a lot of this stuff now i wish i could like implement in 2022 about like you know all the stuff that we did none of it was planned mm. no, the, the collabs weren't planned really um, the songs that kind of like stitched the record together you know uh, were not meant to be on the same record if that makes sense right, sure. like they, they really kind of sound at times like a bit of a botched job you know like it's been sort of thumbed into a record somewhere but um, no it was an amazing time and I think it was we were what in our I think I was 20 when we made the record and you know um, it was the record that made us go from being like a British band to being an international band sure yeah um, you know I mean I remember I think our first ever headline shows in Australia were on this cycle oh no sorry like the first time that we'd gone from like playing like bars and small dive clubs in Australia to like doing 3,000 people a night and Amazing. stuff you know like it was this record that did that propelled it and um yeah, and, and as you said, there's a lot of, um, of those songs from Sinners that have been ever present in our mm. set list, you know. So, um, and what's really exciting for me is that, like, I just looked out to the crowd uh, during um, Yours Tree and, and Kikapichi and sort of like seeing, like, there's a real mix generationally, generationally, mm. sorry. Yeah. So I feel like there's a lot of people that are seeing this band do this for the first time, if that makes sense, which is, nice. which is cool. Um, but yeah, it's. Um, it's just a little slice of heaven for us like being able to play this record and in these massive shows it'd be wicked yeah no really nice moment to kind of revisit it i think it kind of makes a lot of sense and even getting to go back on that old roller coaster the other week and stuff i mean that's a fun yeah not every band gets to do that man that's kind of a fun thing right Could have done without that <laughs> honestly well that many times in a row <laughs> oh i did it once oh, okay I just once, once enough oh, that was enough for me mate there's a there's a really great picture of me where like I'm next to Barnes. So Barnes was like, you've got to come on this ride. You've got to do it. It's like, mate, <laughs> I hate roller coasters. I hate theme parks. I'm not doing it. And, you know, 
good on him because he was like adamant that he was like, look, I don't want to be on it either, but we've got to do it. And uh, really pushed me to doing it. And um, yeah, it's just like, there's just, there's this picture where he's like, turn around at me like laughing like having the best time and I'm literally in my own little world I, I was gen- I was genuinely like repeating my mantra whilst I was on this roller coaster because I was like I just need to get out of my head for oh, a second bro. um but yeah it was it's good fun again it was a nice thing to do because it's like you know 10 years of the swarm as well and it, yeah. it, it's it's ridiculous because like 10 years feels like such a lot sounds like such a long time mm. but a lot of the stuff that we're talking about now is really does feel like it was only yesterday yeah. you know, I can I can vividly remember being in Sunset Sound and living in, in, in West Hollywood for three months. I can remember it literally like it was yesterday. So uh, Flies by, flies does. by all this you've got, stuff. You've got to keep an eye on the time, man. Absolutely. It, will, uh, it will fly fast, yeah. And I know you've been, you guys have been off kind of working on some new stuff. We already talked a little bit about that. But yes. like, it's interesting that uh, I was actually chatting with uh, Jacoby from Papa Roach a few months back when their record came out and they'd done all this anniversary stuff for Infest. And he said something that was quite interesting. He was like, I didn't expect it, but it bled into what we did next. And you might not even hear it on the record, mm. but it just bled into it. Him living in that period again for a mm. little bit of time, bled into it. Have you felt that way at all about the Sinner stuff and what you've been working on next? A hundred percent. I think, um, you know, we were we, on Sucker Punch. We were very much sort of like just trying to flex our creative muscles. And, and there were a lot of things going on at the time where in terms of like different musics, different types of music sorry, that we were really like, it was like ritualistic for us it was like it was what we listened to every day and it, that blends the record and then like we, when it came around to like sort of starting to put together this new album it was like we knew we had these shows coming up but we were also when we went away to write we went on a few writing trips and one of the conversations we had were who is you meet at six like in terms of I know exactly not exactly what to expect but I know what space certain bands of our peers what they're going to cover with mm. their records and like they're going to be like right that band is that and that's they're like the sort of the king of that that table if you like and I was like you meet six of the last few records have been so sort of like all over the space trying to figure out what we could do next to be exciting for ourselves whereas we kind of like not deliberately but we've kind of missed what we're really good at doing and I think so we came back to talking about for the new record about what we wanted to achieve with it and the main thing was re kind of grounding ourselves and in, 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 in a spot so i think people when people hear the new record they'll very much be thinking that yes this record sin is the sinner shows have bled into that but it was deliberate to do you know old school you meet six but in 2022 and mm. just with a twist and it's really exciting as i think i said to you already like we've got some really really mental features on there as well which is we haven't had features for a while so that's going to really i think this again to kind of cement like what we were going for in the sound and yeah yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing give me give me a hint give me a cryptic cryptic feature hint that doesn't give it away so nobody gets in trouble but give me that hint one of the bands uh we grew up with sort of in the myspace era Ooh, okay and one of the other one of the other bands uh we've toured with in the uk okay I mean that could be any fucking tour, right? But it was <laughs> that a, really narrowed it down. It that was, one. It was it was a big tour that we did with them, okay. and I, I think people are going to be very excited about it. Oh, that's really really interesting. I'll get that out of you off camera. Yeah. But uh, the, you will. Yeah, you, I will. You won't have to just smile that. Much. <laughs> so it's not going to take much. No. Um, I'm glad you mentioned collabs because I do again just touching on the sinner stuff. Obviously, there yeah. were two very very big collabs on there again with people that you you know have admired for a long time. One of your peers there, obviously with Ollie, and with Winston as well. Who's just again. I love seeing what Parkway have done over the last few yeah, years. It's, as well. it's been absolutely great. I mean, memories of working with those guys. I guess you know, enduring friendships there as well. Of course. I mean, the Oli one was simply that they were in town uh, doing a show the day to remember at the Palladium, which you could literally roll into our apartments from, uh, and the studio was only you know a ten minute walk from there. And like they were coming through, and I was like, we got the song, and it's a really like for us at the time it's like it's a really like angry aggressive song and I just really feel like you on it would, would would make it something really unique and special that we haven't really got you know come across with you six or four I think he did like 20 minutes in the booth wow. and that was it and then you know it's one of those things which is like it's but my tongue could kind of like could live in multiple different life forms you know what I mean like it could like a hardcore kid in like Thailand could hear that song now and be like, oh my God, this is the best thing I've ever heard. Holds up, man. It really holds up that tune. One of those songs that just did it. Again, it was not deliberate that we never, well, we never thought it was going to be like that. 
Um, and then with, with, with Winston, like, obviously when we were on a, a walk tour um, a while ago, uh, it's quite, quite difficult to make friends, I think, in that sort of environment, especially when a lot of the people that they already, because they're all American, they all know each other, they've already taught each other countless times. Yeah. Um, and so we found ourselves like kind of gravitating towards like the Aussie bands and the Canadian bands. Right. So it was like Lexington Fire, Parkway Drive, Tonight Alive. Um, anyway, we, we just became really, really close to them on that tour. Uh, and actually, strangely enough, like loads of hardcore bands became like our mates on That's that great. tour. Um, so we weren't like hanging out like, you know, the Every Avenues or the We The Kings, not that there's anything wrong with those, those bands at all, but I'm just saying, we were just like going off and playing football at Parkway Drive and every Brilliant. time I die, you know? That's great. Um, and we were literally about to drop, um, we, we just announced like three tours. It was like a Blink tour in England, which then got moved, and a tour in Australia and a tour in South America. And we lost the, all three of those tours because our record wasn't finished. And I was devastated, especially about the Australian one, because they kind of created this bill with the Mix and Mash tour to like be like hardcore, us, hardcore, Wonder Years, just to sort of like oh, make it really interesting and different. Anyway, I was like, I'd still love for you to be on the record because uh, that was kind of the point of the song was like, you should be on a song with us so that when we play with you, your fans don't just endlessly throw <laughs> their own excrement at us. Yeah, um, always good to have that. Yeah, that just one in our pocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well in card. No, we're mates though, we're mates yeah, really. Yeah, they like us, so you should like <laughs> Um But I fell asleep. I was out in LA and I fell asleep when Winston went to the studio to do it. So, and all I sent to John Mitchell, our producer, was... Um, you me at six times Boneyards by Parkway Drive. That's all I wanted him to do. And I didn't know what that meant either. I was meant to like go into it more with him. Fell asleep, woke up to an, an MP3 in my phone and uh, it was obviously time is money. And uh, it just blew my mind. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't believe that like he sounded like that on our record after being a massive Parkway fan for so, so long. Great. So it's yeah, definitely one of those that I don't think people were, were expecting. And then it's kind of sandwiched in between like loads of like lovey dovey songs as well so it really sticks out but um yeah. you say it's funny though isn't it like i feel like bands can put out records now and it's like yeah it doesn't have to fit one big sound you can kind of mix it yeah. in you can throw it in there it's yeah i think that's the way to keep people intrigued with what you're yeah, doing exactly. um and i think yeah that they were those two those two artists with like the perfect the perfect collaborations at that time yeah definitely worked really really nicely uh, before i let you go get ready for this big show rest yep. of the year how much can we say about when we might be hearing things and what you guys might be up to uh what are we now? We're June now, aren't we? We are now into June. Yeah, there'll be there'll be new music next month. Very exciting. I'm pretty sure of that. And then there'll be, I think, we're off to America for a bit. So that's yeah, what yeah, we've got yeah. Planned. A few festivals as well. We'll see you around there and stuff. Two, uh, yes. 2000 Trees, you're back. 2000 stuff, aren't Trees, you? yeah. Looking forward to that. Nice um, one. Yeah, it's going to be wicked, man. It's going to be a good one. All right, well, enjoy tonight, man. It's going to be a really big one. All right. Thanks, brother. Good to see you, man. <laughs>